Next, we're going to look at uh, what happens when you make a change to y in a function. We'll probably just stick with that same absolute value function, whether you write it like that or you write it with the vertical lines for absolute value. But it's going to hold true for any function y equals f of x. So before we looked at changing the x, now we're going to look at replacing the y instead and what kind of changes that has. So what we're looking at here is replacing y with y plus, I don't know, k, some number, right? So in other words, something like y plus 3, y minus 4, or whatever, something like that, all right? So the functions that you'd get here, uh, if, you were, if you were making this change, you'd take your y equals absolute value of x, but you're going to change this thing now, right over here. You're going to replace that with, say, y minus 4, let's say. Absolute value of x. All right, but it would work with any, you know, any function here. y minus 4 equals f of x. Okay, now the, the, the one slight tricky thing with this with y is Often we don't want to write it with other stuff on the other side with the y here. So you can write this in another form because if you have this y minus 4 on this side, okay, if you have this minus 4 on this side, this can actually go on the other side as a plus 4. So you could write this function as y equals absolute value of x plus 4. Now you couldn't do that before when we were talking about replacing x because it was the chain, when we replaced x with something, the, it was inside the function, inside the brackets, and you can't pull it out of the brackets to throw it on the other side. But here it's after you apply this absolute value function that, that the change is happening. So this, this, uh, this function here can be written as either way. Right? You can write it as y minus 4 equals absolute value of x, or you can write it as y equals absolute value of x plus 4. So that's, that's what we're going to look at. First, we're going to look at a graph, and we'll put our function in there. Again, we'll just start with absolute value of x, what we expect it to look like. And second here, we were going to use absolute value of x, but the, the minus isn't going to be in here now, right? If we put a... If we put a um, a uh, minus 4 there, or actually not a minus 4, I think we said a plus 4. Um, it's not that we're putting a plus 4 in here, because if we put a plus 4 there, that's that horizontal trans translation. We're talking about now if it ends up on this side. So we had minus 4 over there, it goes up. All right. If you replace y with y minus 4, that, that new function is shifted up by four units. Again, it works the same way as uh, as the x did. It goes what you the opposite direction. If you're going to subtract four from y, you got to start with y values that are four larger to to keep that relationship between the two sides the same, right? If you're going to start with if you're going the thing is going to be four up like that. Now, I said before that this would be the same as if we had a plus 4 on the other side. So we'll put a plus 4 on that side and just confirm it does do the same thing. It's up 4. All right? If instead we had a number that was something else, like we had a, we had a plus on this side, plus 2, it's going to be down, right? When you, when you replace y with something like y plus 2, okay, and then if it's y plus something, plus a positive number, it's going to be down below. It's going to be translated down. And of course, this would be the same as if you took that plus 2 and you wanted it on the other side. It's, of course, going to be a minus 2 over there. All right, so it can be it can be written either way, one side or the other, as long as you keep the, the sign uh, correct either way. All right, so we're going to look at a table for the first one that we did. The first one that we did was... Uh, um, we had the plus 4 here, I think, right? That was the one that we did. So we're going to compare those two functions in a table like this. So we got absolute value of x here, okay? 
and we've got absolute value of x plus 4. It doesn't say y equals in there because it's just identifying the function. If we start with something like minus 5, this should be positive 5. All right. If you look at this pair of numbers there now, now what's happened is to compare here, we're looking at... Uh, these x values being the same, this change has happened in the y values. The y values are different. This y value is 4. That one right there is 4 larger than that one. All right. x values is the same. The change has happened in the y values. If we continue this down here, the same thing is going to happen. Right? That pair of numbers, same thing. y value, 4 larger than that for the same x value. If we continue this down, okay, down to there, or farther even. Any pair of numbers that you look at, like that one, same x value, y values have changed, y values are, f are 4 larger. When the number's on this side, absolute value of x plus 4, it kind of does what you think it's supposed to do. Now remember, that would be a, that would be the same as if there was a minus 4 on the other side. So you gotta got to keep it straight here. All right? This is a vertical translation when you make that kind of a change. All right, so when we have a change, when we replace y here, let's make a bit more space. When we replace uh, y with y plus k, or something like that, it's a vertical translation. Vertical translation. And more specifically here, if... Uh, if k is uh, negative, or in other words, if k is less than 0, it is uh, translated up or shifted up, translated up. And if k is positive, in other words, if k is greater than 0, translated down. All right. Now the only one hitch again is what I mentioned before, which was you got to keep track of it, right? On one side and the other. If you have y plus seven over here, f of x, and you move it to the other side, now it's minus seven. So don't just don't just go and kind of memorize that. Oh, negative means it's it's up, and positive means it's down, because on the other side it's going to be the opposite, right? Because if you have plus seven over here, and you say, oh, it's positive. It's it's down, and uh, somebody else has got that as in their mind. Positive is is up. You know when it's on this side. Negative is uh, up. You just have to write it one way or the other, and uh, be able to switch between those two and interpret it right. Okay, written this way, it's similar to what you've done. Some of what you've done in grade eleven. Written this way, it it corresponds. To the same thing that happens with the horizontal translations. All right? And that is vertical translation.